Once in a small town, there lived a young boy who was very lazy and prone to procrastination. He constantly delayed his important tasks and as a result, fell behind in his studies and other aspects of life compared to his friends and classmates. Despite numerous warnings from his family and teachers about valuing his time, he ignored their advice and squandered his time on trivial matters. One day, a wise monk, known for his wisdom and enlightenment, arrived in the town. Many people sought his guidance. The young boy decided to visit the monk, hoping to get advice on how to excel in life and surpass his peers. When his turn came, he approached the monk and said, Wise one, please help me. I feel like a failure in life. I am behind my friends and classmates in every field. I want to be the best. Please tell me how to achieve that. The monk looked at him with compassion and replied, You are struggling because you don't value your time. You procrastinate and waste precious moments that you can never get back. Let me share a story to help you understand the importance of time. The boy listened attentively. The monk began, Once there was a king who was very kind and generous. He always helped his people. One day, he met an old classmate who had studied with him in a gurukul. This classmate was very lazy and poor with no job, money, or respect. He constantly complained about his fate and blamed others for his problems. The king recognized his old friend and felt sorry for him. He asked about his life and troubles. The classmate lamented, O oh king, everyone says I can't do anything. When I look for a job, I'm always refused. My enemies have convinced people that I never do my work on time. I don't know what to do. The king suggested a deal. Before sunset, come to my treasury and take as much gold and as many gems as you can. It will all be yours. The classmate was overjoyed and thanked the king profusely. He rushed home and told his wife everything. She urged him to go immediately, saying, Now is your chance. Go and get the treasure. But the classmate, feeling hungry, said, I can't go now. I need to eat first. His wife quickly prepared lunch, which he ate slowly, believing he had plenty of time. After lunch, he felt sleepy and decided to take a nap before going to the treasury. He ended up sleeping for two hours. When he woke up, it was late afternoon. He grabbed some bags and headed to the king's treasury. On the way, the hot sun made him tired, so he decided to rest under a tree. The gentle breeze lulled him to sleep again, and he slept for another four hours. When he woke up, the evening was approaching and the sun was about to set. He hurried to the palace, but by the time he arrived, it was too late. The sun had set, and the palace gates were closed. He had missed his chance to get rich because he didn't value his time. The monk finished the story and looked at the young boy. The boy was speechless, realizing his mistake and feeling ashamed. He thanked the monk for the guidance and vowed to change his ways. He understood that time is precious and should not be wasted. He went back home and started working hard on his goals. He stopped procrastinating, became more productive and successful, and earned respect and happiness from his friends and family. Time is like gold. It is the most precious thing we have, and we only have a limited amount of it. We should use it wisely and productively, focusing on things that matter. Delaying tasks only leads to regret and lost opportunities. If you value your time, it will value you back. But if you waste it, it will ruin your life. Learn the value of one minute from a traveler who missed his train by a minute and the value of a year from a student who failed his exams. Those who value their time can accomplish anything, while those who don't become failures. To achieve anything in life, avoid laziness and procrastination. Use your time wisely and enjoy the little moments with your family and friends. By doing so, you will achieve your goals and dreams and live a fulfilling and satisfying life.